Hi, Grandma. Today I'm going to be reading a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket, The Bad Beginning, Book One. So, before we get started, I want to say that I'm going to be posting every Wednesday and Friday, so be sure to look forward to that. So, that's all I want to say. So, that's all I wanted to say. So, let's begin. Only seems scary, Klaus said, as if he was reading his sister's thoughts because of all the mist. This was true. As the figure reached them, the children saw with relief that, that it was not anybody frightening at all, but someone they knew, Mr. Poe. Mr. Poe was a friend of Mr. and Mrs. Baudelaire's, whom the children had met many times at dinner parties. One of the things Violet, Klaus, and Sunny really liked about their parents was that they didn't send their children away when they had a company over, but allowed them to join the adults at the dinner table and participate in conversations as long as they help clean the table. The children remained Mr. Poe, remembered Mr. Poe, because he was always, because he always had a cold and was constantly excusing himself from the table to have a fit of coughing in the next room. Mr. Poe took off his top, hat, his top hat, which made his head look large and square in the fog, which made it look large and square in the fog, and stood for a moment, coughing loudly in a white handkerchief. Violet and Klaus moved forward to shake his hand and say, how do you do? How do you do? said Violet. How do you do? said Klaus. How do I do? said Sunny. Fine, thank you, said Mr. Poe. But he looked very sad for a few seconds. For, for he looked very sad. For a few seconds, no one said anything. The children wondered what Mr. Poe was doing, he was doing there at Barney Beach. When, when, uh, at Barney Beach, when he should have been at the bank in the city where he worked. He was not dressed for the beach. It's a nice day, Violet said finally, making a conversation. Sunny made a noise that sounded like an angry bird, and Klaus picked her up. And, 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 and picked her up. Yes, it is a nice day, Mr. Poe said. Uh, Mr. Poe said, staring at the empty beach. I'm afraid I have some very bad news for you, children. Three Baudelaire siblings looked at him. Violet, with some embarrassment, felt a stone in, in her hand, uh, felt a stone in her hand, in her left hand, and was glad she did not throw it at Mr. Poe. Now, Mr. Poe is going to say something that might shock you, and this is where the story becomes the bad beginning. Your parents, Mr. Poe said, have perished in a terrible fire. The children didn't say anything. They perished? They perished, Mr. Poe said, in a, in a fire that destroyed their entire house. I'm very sorry to tell you this, my dears. So I wonder what's going to happen now that their parents have died in a fire. Well, should have come back for next time. Should have come back for more next time. I hope that... I wonder where the uh, Baudelaire's are going to go. Bye, Grandma. See you next time.